Hi, this is Marisa Herrera. It's a beautiful autumn day. And first, I want to thank you for watching my video. Today, I'm going to take you on a shopping trip, a green shopping trip. And although I'm not one to really like shopping, obviously there are essentials that we need to get. And I want to show you how I incorporate eco practices, no, eco-friendly practices into something as routine as going shopping. All right, so to go shopping, obviously I have to get from point A to point B. So my options are I could either drive, I could take public transit, I could ride my bike, or I could walk. Taking my car is not an option, and I'll tell you why. First of all, I'm not carrying anything excessively heavy or big that it's going to be an impossible task, and I don't have to go far away where it's going to take me half a day to walk or to ride there. So the vehicle is out of the option. I could take public transit. That's definitely a, a green option, although I decided not to do that, first of all, because I want the exercise, and I don't want to pay the money, and I'm definitely going to get there faster if I ride my bike. So my option is riding my bike. First of all, I get the exercise. It's not going to cost me anything except the minimal wear and tear of the bike. And it's going to make it a very fast and efficient way of traveling. Walking would be also desirable, although it's going to take me far longer. So in terms of vehicle, you might ask, well, is that really a green option? Well, I have to say, uh, living green is a process. No, and I want you to understand that it doesn't have to encompass everything. I try to live as green as I can, and you can do that too. And again, remember that it's one step at a time. The vehicle, in case you're wondering, is an economical one. I bought it secondhand. It's a Geo Metro, three-cylinder, so it's extremely economical. I don't ride it very often. All right, so I'm just about to leave. As you can see, I have my helmet for security reasons. I also always carry my pack sack when I go biking uh, for a few things. First of all, if I need to purchase things, I can put them here. I don't want to carry more plastic. I don't need plastic bags. And second, I carry my IDs in my pack sack. So everything I take with me is my water bottle, stainless steel. So I dump plastic a long time ago and you want to carry this because you need to hydrate yourself. So this is my bike, by the way and uh, we're just now ready to go. Here I am inside the store. One of the things I need are batteries. Obviously, I want rechargeable batteries. I would not consider just regular batteries. And I want to show you the savings com in comparison to regular batteries. So here are the choices. Energizer, which are just regular batteries, although it says titanium. The price is $7.99 for four batteries. I'm looking at the uh, AA4, four AA batteries. Uh, another option would be the Duracell. Now, they're on sale now at $6.99, regular price $7.99. Again, just your regular batteries. They're also a AA, four in the pack. And the choice I'm getting, actually, is the Energizer. These are rechargeable, and they're definitely more powerful than when I bought mine, which is quite a few years back, and they're running low, so this is why I need to replace them, and I would not go with anything but rechargeable batteries. So again, four in the pack, AA, and this is $19.99. Although it's more expensive initially, it definitely pays off long time. It says here it lasts four times longer. Boy, I didn't bring my glasses, so it's hard to read the hard print, uh, the very tiny print. So this is the best choice, uh, definitely a green purchase. And the other thing I like about this store is that they take back their batteries for recycling. So that's definitely a plus because they don't want to put this in the dump. They're toxic. You want to make sure that they're disposed of properly. So here I am on the second item I need to buy, which is toothpaste. And uh, there are quite a few options your standard uh, commercial brands plus the more natural brands. And there's a variance in prices and obviously a variance in ingredients. And this is what I'm looking for, ingredients definitely, because to me it's important that they are as eco as possible and also animal friendly, either vegan and or cruelty free. And actually PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, produces a great guide that allows you to check on companies. Uh, whether they are cruelty free or not and they have a pocket guide you know, that you can take when shopping and it's very handy. So here are some of the options I have selected so that we can do some comparisons. We have Kiss My Face which is uh, 3.4 ounces, 96 grams. This one sells for $5.99 on sale and what I like about this one is that uh, first of all it's vegan, that means no animal ingredients and no animal testing and the all natural ingredients. Uh, the shorter the list of ingredients, the better. You, know, you don't want some chemicals that you don't even know what they mean or recognize. So we have glycerin, we have silica, aloe, we have water, 
anyway, it's definitely the most natural. We have certified organic aloe, uh, Iceland uh, moss extract, peppermint oil, tea tree oil, menthol, so all good things. So Kiss My Face is definitely one on my top list. We have tea tree oil and neem toothpaste by Desert Essence, uh, 7 ounce or 130 millimeters. And this one uh, sells for $5.99. It's with baking soda and essential oil of wintergreen. I like it because it's definitely fluoride free, so that's good. And also, uh, the list of ingredients is small, so you know that you're not getting all these chemicals. Uh, that would be a second choice. Now, why this is not my top choice? It's because it has the sodium laurel sulfate, and uh, Kiss My Face does not. So this would be number two. Then we have Tom's of Maine Natural, fluoride free, and that's good. Uh, here we have 85 millimeters or 130.4 grams or 4.6 ounces. It's, I like it again, it's natural. The price for this one is on sale $3.99, regular is $4.99. And the, again, a small list of ingredients. We have calcium carbonate, we have uh, water, glycerin, xylitol, carrageen, sodium laurel sulfate, so that's a no for me. But otherwise, all the other ingredients are natural, and uh, what I like is that they do no animal testing, so that's important. That means uh, they're cruelty-free. So that would be choice number three. We have crest sensitivity, 85 millimeters. It's uh, good, again, if you have sensitive teeth. However, it has the sodium laurel sulfate, which I don't like. It doesn't specify whether it's cruelty-free, and to me that's definitely not an option. And it has a bunch of ingredients, chemicals, that I don't even recognize. So that is really not an option for me. Another common brand would be Colgate. Uh, we have here whitening, 130 millimeters. The price on this one is $2.99, so definitely less money. Yet, what are you getting for less money? You're getting sugar in your toothpaste, you're getting a bunch of chemicals. Uh, so out of all these choices, my number one choice is Kiss My Face. First of all, it's vegan, uh, no laurel sulfate, so laurel sulfate, and natural ingredients. So th this definitely is my choice, top choice, so I will be getting this. So this is just, again, one way of how we can incorporate eco-living by assessing what ingredients are on the product, where, how healthy are they for you and for the planet. And the, obviously the component of the four R's, and the, basically they all come with the same packaging, I mean, we definitely can recycle the carton and the plastic as well. All right, so that's the end of the shopping trip. I just wanted you to see some of the steps I follow in terms of doing my purchases, because I try to do them as green as I can. And obviously, these are options we have, and we need to make the option that is right for you. Okay, I'm back, back from shopping, green shopping. So what have we done today? I have incorporated the four R's by rethinking, you know, rethinking my mode of transportation, rethinking the products I purchase and the reasons why I purchase them, reducing, reducing my impact by riding my bike, not using the car, uh, using the impact of buying uh, throwaway batteries. You know, I, I buy rechargeable, I mean they last five, ten times longer, uh, so it's definitely worth paying more initially because it will pay off long term. Then recycling. Obviously, I recycle all the containers, the packages. I recycle as much as I can, so I minimize my impact in every way possible. This is just one component of shopping, shopping green. I want to thank you. Thank you for coming along on my green shopping. And until next time, this is Marisa Herrera wishing you health and a green living for you and your pets.